Welcome to Spandapod Tech Fest premiere of 2024, and I'm so excited that you could join me on this one. I'll be in the comment section here right now answering any of your questions live as we watch this together. And we'll be talking about WhatsApp, how to secure your WhatsApp and make your WhatsApp practically unhackable. The good thing about this premiere is that you need to invite your friend, your family, your loved one to come together and watch this with you because I believe that if anyone that is close or connected to you has a problem with your whatsapp you also can be a victim of that problem so get everybody together and let's go in and learn how to make your whatsapp to become practically unhackable if you're ready come with me let's get started Okay, welcome back again to Smart Deport, and I'm so excited to have you on today. Today, we'll be talking about how to make your WhatsApp practically unhackable, and it is not difficult. The problem is that many people don't take time to do, you know, just take that three to five minutes to do, you know, the basics on your WhatsApp account to be sure that your account is secure. Uh, if you haven't watched my recent video, you can go into the description at the end of this video to see I made a video about how to transfer everything in your whatsapp this is for actually android users i made a video how to transfer everything in your whatsapp from one phone to another phone without missing anything there are two methods to that i did that it's in the description and you can watch that at the end of this premiere uh, let's talk about whatsapp security is whatsapp really really secure of course, to a great extent, WhatsApp is secure. Now, but because it's a social messaging app and it has a lot of uh, connections and things that you can do with it, there are vulnerabilities that will come out because of uh, human use error or ignorance so you have to keep that in mind there's no one of us that could be 100 percent alert at all times so that's why you have to put in some of these features to make sure that your account is very 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 well secure so let's start from the first security that you must know the first security is that any message any sms one time six digit sms that comes to you from whatsapp uh it cannot be shared it doesn't matter when somebody say uh, there's a code sent to you please send us the code we need to confirm something there's a zoom meeting anytime whatsapp is sending you sms they are specifying that it is from whatsapp especially your six digit verification code so you must know that it is clearly written that this is from whatsapp so don't forward it to anybody don't send it to anybody please always remember this this is the first level of your security because whatsapp any other person can, that knows your phone number can open a new whatsapp app and put in your number and the, the uh, verification code will be sent to the number which is your number and they will try to use every means to trick you into sending them that number if you send them that number you will lose access to your whatsapp but we'll still come to the point where you can actually get get access back in case you lose it but uh, prevention in this case is way better than cure so it's better you do not allow them to take access or take over your whatsapp that's very very important so don't send any code that comes from whatsapp to anybody now that is the first step of making your whatsapp unhackable then the second thing is uh, linked devices so here i have some of my linked devices here uh, click on the three dot menu at the top right and then click on link devices it will show you whether other devices are seeing your message of course they will see your message if they can put their device here so always check that if somebody has that it can be checking your message and you won't even know and you can see your reply your chat everything so make sure if you see any device that you didn't put here you can just tap and hold it and then you can now log out from it so you can tap and hold it and then you can click on log out and that device will be removed from your whatsapp account then the number 13 you need to do in your whatsapp is to put in like uh, biometrics uh to lock your whatsapp it's extra feature so assuming you've unlocked your phone and you give somebody your phone to you know do something the people can try to jump into your whatsapp 
and try to do some funny things with your WhatsApp. So you can add extra biometric security to your WhatsApp. Now it is inside WhatsApp settings. So you can go to your settings and then go to privacy. And in that privacy, you scroll down and then you will see fingerprint lock. So fingerprint lock is very, very important. So you need to do that. So these are the steps. So if you have any question, feel free to drop and ask me in the comment section. If you have any question about this, I'll be in the comment section to answer that. So let's come to the more and the most critical part of your WhatsApp, which is a two-step verification. If you're using your WhatsApp and you have not turned on your two-step verification, please forget everything you're doing now and turn it on. I'm going to guide you on how to do that. And it's very, very easy to do that. And also anybody who is around you, your family, your loved ones and all that can really, really do it immediately. Because if somebody takes their phone or have access to their WhatsApp and without that two-step verification, they can do a lot of harm to, the, to them via their WhatsApp. So let's go into that. Tap that three dot menu at the top right of your phone and then go to settings. Uh, inside settings, click on the account and you will come out to where you have security notification, pass key, email, two-step verification, change number and all that so the first one is two-step verification for extra security turn on two-step verification which will require a pin when registering your phone number with whatsapp again so you see the simple thing now so if somebody is to take your whatsapp verification code and try to register it on that number it will require that two-step verification pin the security flaw here is that whatsapp is not going to ask you for your verification number or verification one-time password to confirm that it is you that is setting up this uh two-step verification so that's one of the problem i discussed in the previous video you can see it in the cards where hackers take over people's account and use their hand to turn on the two-step verification pin that when the owners the true owners of the account gets it back they are unable to go into the account because there's a two-step verification pin now activated on the account why not do it first yourself to be on the safe side and of course if you have any question about this be in the comment section to ask me and i will answer you right away turn it on and set up your two-step verification and and use a six num digit number that you can remember and in case you have any problem you can also tap on the email in case there is anything that happens this email is used to verify that you are the owner as you can see on my own the email also is verified my email is verified here that I am the owner of this whatsapp so if there is problem the uh, you forgot your pin or you want to regain access to your account this email please is a very important role because whatsapp will send it to you on this email and uh, that's part of the thing that you have to do this is another level of security on your whatsapp and now the final part of it is that what happened when uh, someone uh, mistakenly gives out their whatsapp pin and somebody takes it and now have access to their whatsapp of course i did a dedicated video on that you can click on the cast right now to watch that <laughs> so as not to make this video too long and then if you have any questions about this i'll be in the comment section to answer you right away so yeah <laughs> what are you waiting for drop the comment in the comment section and i will reply you about whatsapp finally also okay let me talk about whatsapp ban of course whatsapp ban has been on uh many people haven't actually read whatsapp terms of service because if somebody who is not in your contact you send them a message and they report you whatsapp can ban you for that uh, the question is how would you know somebody who is not in your contact because you might save their number they might not save your number you send them a message they will report it as spam whatsapp for that can even give you temporary ban or even permanent ban there are a whole lot of other things you know spamming sending some links and all that can lead to ban in whatsapp terms of service uh, i'll put the link in the description for whatsapp terms of service if you want to read it you can just you know go in and read it and then know what and what not to do uh so as not to violate whatsapp terms of service of course if you have been banned on whatsapp and you want to get your account back i did a video about that also you can see it in the cards or at the end of this video or in the video description so that's it thank you for joining me on this premiere i hope
hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this video useful. If you found it useful, why not click on that like button so that the algorithm will recommend to other people and then they'll be able to secure the WhatsApp and make it very, very secure. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I'll be here in the comment waiting for you, answering every question you have on this particular issue. Please tell everybody around you, let them go through the step, let them watch this video and let them apply the necessary security on their WhatsApp to make sure that their WhatsApp is practically unhackable. Of course, if you want to see how to unban ban WhatsApp, you can click on the video here. How to gain access back to your WhatsApp in case scammers took it from you. You can click on this place. How to move WhatsApp from one account, uh, one phone to the other. Click here and until I see you in the next one, it is peace. Very cool.